Cancer. Welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video today we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading. If it resonates with you right now feel free to show your support towards the channel. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and rising Cancerian placements. And to the cross watchers checking in on a cancer, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can reverse the roles in today's video. Otherwise, I do highly recommend a personal booking or a personal reading if you are looking for something more specific and suited to what you're currently going through. I will leave my, I will leave my email address linked in the descriptions box below for those of you who would like to reach out. Um, otherwise you can just click on out and tune back in at a later stage cancer when I upload a new reading for your sign. I hope you've all been well guys. As you can see in front of me I've already drawn an animal spirit card. This card here will represent your person's overarching feelings towards you and they are being represented by the hawk at this time. This upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent the element of air and your person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So for some of you Cancerians, that could be some strong confirmation. So as it currently stands, this person could feel at a distance from you, Cancer. They could feel at an emotional or a physical distance from you, okay? I do have to say though that this person this person's interested in you, Cancer. There is someone here that is keen on you and is interested in you. Mm. And, I, and I kind of feel like this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. But before they do that, I'm seeing someone here who is in the current energy of analyzing you. Hmm. This person is analyzing you. Maybe they're studying you. I'm not sure what they're studying. Um, maybe they're trying to figure you out. Maybe they're trying to figure out if you're interested in them or if you are seeing somebody else. Um, we will find out when I draw some tarot cards. But this person is focused on you and they've got their eye on you, Cancer. Hmm. And I feel like this person wants to get closer to you. Okay, let's find out more. We do have reversals in this deck. Let's figure out this person's current feelings towards you. So Spirit Angels and Guides, how does this person currently feel towards Cancer? Ooh, what do we got here? We've got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. And we have the Sun card in reverse. Could be connecting to a Leo. But when I see the Sun card in reverse, this definitely tells me that there's distance here. Hmm. Hmm. This person may be feeling a coldness, you know, when the sun is in reverse, there's, there's coldness here or there's distance here. You know what? This person may not be feeling overly confident right now to approach you. That's what it could be with the sun in reverse. So this person may not be feeling 100% confident to come towards you. Uh, so that's probably why they are studying you. Hmm. Maybe this is someone who, who needs to feel that you are interested in them to confidently approach you before they confidently approach you. With the Six of Pentacles here, this is someone who is interested in connecting with you and is interested in having a relationship with you. Hmm. Tell 
Tell me more. Okay, why, why is the Five of Cups here? This, okay, I have to call it Cancer. I'm going to clarify, but I am noticing the three people in the Six of Pentacles. Okay, I am noticing it. So this person may be curious to know if you are seeing somebody else. Because with the Five of Cups, I am sensing with this person, maybe they feel like... I, I want to say maybe they feel like they've missed an opportunity or they've missed a chance here with you, with the Five of Cups. Mm, that's what I'm inclined to say here. Because this, this figure in the Five of Cups is looking at these three cups that are spilt over. And this person may be feeling regretful. Um, they may be kind of in this energy of kind of like kicking themselves that they didn't make the most of the opportunity to snavel you up or snatch you up when they had the chance. That's what I'm hearing, Cancer. I, I need to clarify this. Tell me more about the Five of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Five of Cups here? Because when I look at the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups is like casual, casual dating, um, hooking up. The Justice card is here. Ah... Could be connecting to a Libran. The High Priestess. With the Justice card, I'm hearing something about karma. Mm. Mm. Okay, the justice could indicate that you are already seeing somebody else. And that the opportunity to connect with you is too late. And with the high priestess here, it's kind of like they just have to watch you in silence. Hmm. It's just like they have to watch you or uh, study you in silence. Because the High Priestess, this is passive energy. This is keeping one's feelings and thoughts to themselves. Okay, can we just clarify the Six of Pentacles? Let's take a look at this Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Cups came through. This person is, is looking for a new opportunity here with you, Cancer. It's almost like with the Hawk Spirit they're kind of like waiting in the wings, waiting for an opportunity uh, to maybe have a second chance here with you. Or 
waiting for a, an opportunity to present itself so they can take this leap of faith towards you. But with the Sun card in reverse, they're not feeling confident that you are available. Can we just take a look at this Sun card? And even if you are available, I mean, with the High Priestess here, you might be withdrawn and quiet towards them. So they're not feeling overly confident because uh, with the High Priestess here, they may be viewing you as, as very mysterious. Like they, this person cannot read how you feel towards them because you're not showing this person you're not giving them any indication if you are interested in them or not. The world card is here. Yeah. So you may have experienced a cycle with this person. Mm. With the world card. The world card can speak to completion of a cycle. Um, it can speak to an ending. If you have experienced a cycle with this person, with the sun in reverse, like I said, Cancer, this person isn't feeling overly confident to come back around at this time because they're not feeling a strong indication from you uh, that you are interested to hear from them. I know, isn't that really strange? Mm. Because like I said, they're either feeling like you're seeing somebody else, maybe you've met somebody new, um, and they feel like they've just left it too late. Let's take a look at how you feel. How are you feeling towards this person? Spirit, how does cancer feel towards this person? Oh, okay. Well, Cancer, you've got two tens in reverse and it's the Ten of Cups. Mm -mm. And it's the Ten of Swords. And look at this. And the Six of Wands in the upright. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Okay, well, I feel like with the Six of Wands, you are currently in a good position. Mm, because Six of Wands indicates victory and success. So you're feeling pretty good with yourself right now. Um, hmm. All right. So your feelings towards this person. So clearly you have experienced some kind of an ending with this person. With the Ten of Cups in reverse, you no longer feel a future is possible with this person. Okay, you, you no longer feel that a future is on the cards with this person. There certainly has been a, a disconnect between the both of you. Hmm. With the Ten of Swords here, perhaps you experience some kind of betrayal or deceit with this person. Um, hmm. But the fact that the Ten of Swords is in reverse tells me that you, you've come to accept that uh, a relationship or a future with this person is no longer viable or is no longer possible. This card here is telling me that you're, you're accepting that it's a dead end and that it's not going to go anywhere because you're, triumph, you're triumphing here. Like it's, it's in the past for you. 
like this energy is in the past for you look at this you've put it behind you or you're trying to put it behind you you're trying to leave it in the past and and for some cancerians here you're doing a pretty good job with that okay you're still having to work on it though because the six of wands it takes hard work dedication and effort and you're still having to work on on putting it behind you it hasn't been easy there are some days that it still hurts or it still is with you but for the most part you're doing pretty well with it cancer um Let's just clarify. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups is here. Okay. You may have been connecting to a Pisces. Excuse me. Hmm. You're no longer... Um, when I see the King of Cups... This shows me that you're emotionally in control, which means that you're not overly emotional about this person anymore. So they're not wrong. This person does feel an emotional distance between the both of you because you're not all over this person like you used to. You don't jump. Um, you don't jump to the beat of this person's drum anymore. You know, um, you're not phased. If you look at the facial expression on the King of Cups, you're not phased. But you don't hate them. Um, you don't wish them w ill. Um, you just you just don't care enough to care, really. Um, does that make sense, Cancer? Yeah. I think you've, you're just contented within. You've just come to some, can, you, you've come to accept that this is not your person. This is not who you want to be spending the rest of your life with. And that's okay. You've got bigger fish to fry here. Mm. Okay. Tell me more about this... Um, Tell me more about this Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, look at this. The Ten of Wands is here. The Ten of Wands. Wow, that's three tens in your energy. Hmm. Wow. Okay, Cancer. So look, for the most part, I feel that you are still trying to stay very strong. Okay, this is strength when I see the Ten of Wands. Um, this relationship felt like a struggle for you. It felt very draining. Mm. but you're still staying strong yeah and you you showed considerable strength even in the darkest times okay Tell me more. What's, why is the Six of Wands here for Cancer? The Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, I feel like you've made a decision here, Cancer. You've, you've decided to move forward with your life and you're not looking back. Yeah, I don't see you looking back here. You see things very clearly. You're not looking 
um, through rose tinted glasses, okay? To go back to this person would indicate that you're going backwards and you're not going forwards. And I don't, I don't feel like you'd want to go backwards because to go backwards would just be like you'd be enduring, you'd be enduring like this kind of energy struggle. And I don't, I don't feel like you'd want to um, go back to struggle street. Okay, let's take a look and see what action this person would um, take towards you. You felt like this relationship was a lot of hard work. Okay, too many cards. Let's, let's do that again. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards cancer? What will their next actions be towards cancer? What will this person's next actions be towards cancer? The seven of pentacles. Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the top one, which is the Five of Wands. Yeah. Next action towards Cancer. Okay, I'm going to take it, which is the Three of Cups in reverse. So Cancer, I don't see this person taking any action. There's a lot of contemplation going on. I can see this person carefully contemplating and figure out whether or not they should make a move. Um, I can see here with the three of cups in reverse that they would like to, they would like to uh, connect with you or meet up with you here, but they're just thinking about it for now. They're thinking about it. They're just not sure if it would be a good idea because the Five of Wands is here. It sits in the middle of these two cards and this is a card of conflict, which means that, you know, the head and the heart are not aligning for this person. Like on one hand, it's saying, their head saying they should and on the other hand, um, their heart saying, oh, maybe, maybe it's not a good idea. Okay, so there's just like an internal, there's just internal conflict here. There's a struggle here. There could be some people in this person's environment that are kind of just maybe interfering or getting in the way of uh, this person taking action towards you as well. Okay, I do see that. Okay, there could be some people in this person's environment that are keeping them from reaching out to you okay um because i do see people in this person's environment this is like people giving this person um bad advice you know oh don't do it don't do it cancer will uh, ignore you you know just people saying don't do it don't do it um let's just clarify the five of yeah, look at this. There's the judgment card. Yeah, so there there are some people um, in their environment kind of just telling them not to reach out to you. The judgment card would indicate um, someone coming back around, wanting a second chance, but there is definitely strong conflict surrounding this return. This decision to return to you. Mm. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse? Tell me more. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse? Ooh, the Tower. The Tower. Mm. 
this person feels like your connection isn't the same anymore. Mm. They just feel like the connection is on shaky ground. They just feel like connecting with you or meeting up with you just wouldn't be a good idea with the tower card. It just doesn't feel safe. Mm. So for example, even if they were to say organize a meetup with you, they would feel like the meetup would can't like you would cancel on them or someone would stand the other person up because the tower is like it would fall apart like the meetup would just fall apart like it wouldn't follow through because the tower isn't solid it would be sh like the meetup or catching up meeting face to face isn't guaranteed yeah that's what i see cancer so that's why i feel like this person doesn't feel at the end of the day confident to approach you they're, they're interested and they want to but they don't have the confidence or the courage to do so not at this time because they're not getting strong indicators from you that it would be okay to do so. Yeah. All right, well, let's grab some advice from Spirit. See what Spirit has to say. Spirit Angels and Guides, what advice do you have for Cancer? Regarding this reading here today, last parting messages or advice. What does Cancer need to hear? What does Cancer need to know when it comes to this reading, this connection? I'm using the spacious tarot for this part of the reading. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Hmm. It's a beautiful card. Ace of Swords speaks to a clear decision, truth. Hmm. Let me just grab another card, Cancer. Spirit angels and guides, what is it that Cancer needs to know and hear today? The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so I just want you to know here, Cancer, that this person is weighing up this decision. Okay, um, there is someone here that is tossing up whether or not they should reach out to you to uh, talk to you, to speak to you. Um, they are weighing this decision up. Okay, that's all I can say right now. They're weighing it up. They're trying to make a good decision or a judgment call on whether or not this would be a good idea or not they're weighing up the pros and cons mm. what's at the bottom of the deck 
the seven of cups the seven of cups okay so advice for you cancer I feel like this is advice for you seven of cups look at this with the six of cups underneath that okay Hmm. <coughs> okay, so you may Hmm. I feel like with the 7 of cups, this is options. You may be opening yourself up to other options at this time. But I feel like this past person or this person, it, this may be a current person, someone that you're currently connecting to, um, that you've closed a cycle with. I feel like this current person that you've closed a cycle with I feel like they're no longer one of your options though I feel like you're opening yourself up to other options the reason why I say that is because some of these cups are upside down and the water is spilling outside of them is spilling out of them sorry mm. and I don't feel like you are I don't feel like this past person or current past person if I can put it like that is no longer an option I feel like that's what I want to say as advice I don't feel like you will be willing to accept this person because with the six of cups here I feel like they're in the past for you you know I feel like you're just opening yourself up to other options. Mm. And that there, I feel like there is someone around you, Cancer, that actually feels like home. I want to say this with the Six of Cups. There's someone here that makes you feel at ease or at peace. Whereas this other person makes you feel unsure and makes you feel like you never have certainty with them. Whereas there is, is a, there's another option here. I feel like, you know what, I actually feel like you might be opening yourself up to another option. Even with the two of pentacles, you might be you might be in a position, Cancer, where you've got a choice to make between two people. We saw it at the onset of the reading, right? So you could be in a position where you're deciding who you're going to be with, a current past person or a new person. I feel like whoever you're going to be with or whoever you're choosing to be with, it'll be with the one who makes you feel at ease. Who makes you feel safe you're not going to go with the one who makes you feel unclear or unsure yeah the one who constantly has you in your head is the one that you are not choosing anyway that's where I'm going to leave the reading cancer I do hope that was insightful <laughs> helpful let me know your thoughts and I will see you in my next video Bye, Cancer.